What's up? Tell me about the Bud Hood Steel. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? Why is there a pause? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. How did you get to be a member? More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. What do you do for them? I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. Do you like being a member? I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people. Even if it's from themselves, it's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. What's the Codex? Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah. They'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's Axioms. Does the Brotherhood protect people from raiders or other threats? No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Darn it! I had some spectacular answers coming, too. Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. No such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwats. It's a word. You ever heard of a guy named Bendy? Sure. He's one of the hotel managers on the Strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? Know anything about New Vegas? Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. House gave the area around the Strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. What do you think about the NCO? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. 
but there's a handful of us and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So it's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. Let's keep moving. Let's. Uh, now he's going to talk to me. Friend. No. But. Oh. I was gonna have us start talking to Eliza, but for some reason it won't do it. Sorry, guys. What's up? What's up? What? Nice. Can I order room service? Okay, let's go get Boom back. Go in here and get Boom back. Then head out to uh, the Great Cons. Oop, we passed it. Partner, good to see you again. Boss. Come back soon. Go in here and go up to the presidential suite. Where to, partner? Is it time? I'm ready. I roll a now. Got boom Casino back now. Floor. Save everything up. Okay, wild card.
own hand and that's fine. See what trouble we can get through out here. Cook Cook's favorite Brahmin ain't alive no more. No sticks for him. He couldn't eat anyways, I killed him. Now that's why you call it boomer time. Okay, let's see. Gotta take this road. No, I don't. No, I don't have the fat man. 